How's it? Hey, game. Uh, we're street. Uh, hello, every. Mm. We're ranking Nintendo games, baby. With Ranchman. Say hello to the gang, Ranchman. Hello, gang. Oh, that's racist. Anyway. Let me post this link in my various chats. So we can have some Giga Chads watching us. Alright. Um, um, your stream is... I'm opening it now. Anyway. Oh, I can hear myself. Sweet. You should be able to. Is your is your level good? Let me let me check real quick. Also, I'm infinitely looping into uh, forever because I'm grabbing my Twitch link. Uh, hang on a second. Give me here. It should be. I personally sound slightly quiet on it, but uh. It should be. Here. You should be, slightly more quiet than me. But loud enough for the yeah. people to hear. I can understand myself, I think. Okay. Well, on my actual level bars, you are hitting just below me, so I'm going to assume we're this, about the same level. But we'll... Alright. If someone complains, someone will complain. Um, starting the list off, have you played the original Paper Mario? I have only played Super Paper Mario. Because I have not. I heard it was good. I assume it was good because they made so many more. Um, but I'm gonna slap that and haven't played. Any objections? All right. Uh, I do not. Thousand Year Door. You've played more than me, as in I haven't played. Now I will say, Thousand Year Door is one of those weird um instances where I don't. I'm pretty sure I haven't played it myself, but I'm pretty sure I watched a playthrough of it at some time because it's so familiar. Been pl I'm about to play through it on stream at some point here. And what I remember of it, it was really good. Almost legendary. Teeth the Kid, welcome to the stream, gamer. Um, You know, I know a song about teeth. Anyway, back to the list. Um, yeah, I would put Thousand Door pretty high. I would put it A or B, because I haven't personally played it, but I know it's good. I I don't have a big opinion on it, since I haven't played it. Um, I'm gonna but... put it A. Alright. If you haven't now... played it, you can rank it separately from mine. You don't have to agree with me. We'll post We'll post our final ones at the end. Um, well, I'm uh, I'm 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 keeping mine in line with yours because it makes it easier for me to keep track of everything. Um, Super Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario, the one we are personally most familiar with. Um, let me zoom in. I'll let you. I'll let you take this one away. What do you think of it? I 100 so, percent of it personally. I. I I don't remember if I 100 percent of it. No, I got you didn't. Pretty, pretty but you far, got I you did. got very far. You got Piccolo, and that's where you. It seems like you stopped. Piccolo is basically like the last thing you need to do in the game. I think. Um, yeah. Or one of the last things you can do, I guess. I personally would put it above Thousand Year Door. I I don't want to put it in S tier personally, even though I feel like it it's like between the two. But I because I want to leave some room for like stuff that is above it. There's definitely better than the than the Paper Mario series. I agree with putting it in A. Um, where it is in A, I don't know if you want to rank it. Do you want to do you want to switch up? Um, do you want to rank like ranks within ranks? Do you want to organize them, or do you just want to slap them in a rank and go? Uh, I'm planning on organizing it a little bit more. Okay, well then we'll put Super Paper Mario in A just before Thousand Year Door. All right, now. Um, I don't know. I'm not familiar. Is that Sticker Star? That looks like Sticker Star. I, Sticker Star, Colored Splash, and Origami King. I've never played any of them. All that. in, never played. Now it's a, one of my favorite sections. 
Ooh, the Mario and Luigi game. Yeah. I'm excited for this one too, Emmer. This one's this one's fire. It's look how long this shit is. It's fucking every Nintendo game. Minecraft is on this. But yeah, no, this is gonna be a good list. It's just gonna take a while. There's gonna be a lot of never played. I'm I'm stoked for the Kirby section, one of my favorites. Anyway, we're to the Mario and Luigi section. It's the RPGs. Um so in here the ones I haven't played are Partners in Time, Dream Team, Paper Jam. I haven't played Dream Team or Paper Jam. I'm playing through Superstar Saga right now. And honest opinions of it is it's definitely not the pinnacle of RPG games. It definitely feels like the first of a series where it has its flaws and it's sort of difficult. It feels like a lot of it is, um, I don't know. Some of the fights feel too easy and some of them are too hard. It's, it's balanced. Okay. I, I would put it, I don't know. You played Superstar Saga. What are your opinions? I have definitely either played through it or seen it because I have the various memories about it. But I, I, I definitely wouldn't put it in A. I would say it's between B or C to me because it's definitely not below C in my eyes. I, yeah, I, I'll put it B because I like the game. Well, C for me is like the middle ground. No, that'd be D, I guess, in this case, would be the middle ground. That doesn't feel right, though. D is passing, but not quite. I'm going to put it in C. I'm going to put it in C. All right, I, uh, I, I agree with that, I'd say. Have you played Partners in Time? Partners in Time? I've seen a bit of it, but I haven't personally played it. I personally didn't like it as much as, as a Superstore Saga. Um... I would put it D because it's still it's still that fun sort of RPG. When we get to duplicates like um, the numerous remakes, we're just not gonna rank the remakes. Yeah, I don't know if there's some way I can actually like delete. I don't actually. I don't think there is. But list. can I? Oh, nope. Um, Bowser's Inside Bowser's Story. Bowser's Inside Story. Okay. I'm saying A or S. Um, if it's A, I don't know if it would go before or after Super Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario is kind of both. Uh, is A or S as well for me? For me, I am willing to make Bowser's Inside Story my first S tier. Because I would rank it, in my mind, higher than I would put either of those Paper Mario games. That's how much I like it. Um, I definitely see my experience was when it was like when we used to own it I think and I borrowed it and played through almost the entire game yeah the the, the quote unquote um, borrowed from Ryan I mean I I, I, I steal I, I guess you know we gave it we both did the same thing but we both gave it back so I would count it as borrowing exactly yeah um but i i, I am willing remember it was really good i am um, willing to consider this my first s tier i don't know i'm gonna scroll through the list is there in all honesty my memories about this game are very fond and i would put it above super or i would put it above super paper mario but i don't know if i would consider it an s tier well, we are doing our individual list, so put it where you would put it. Well, we're, we're, I feel like it would be. Well, here's more the thing: is if we try to hash out where it would go, like where we would agree to put it. I mean, we could do that. My my thought is, we we do it like ours. We have our little debate, and if either of us don't change our mind, we put it where we would put it. And then at the end of the stream, we'll just post it in our Discord, pin it for later, just so we can look back on it. Sorry. 
What's the full screen button? It's not F12. Is it F11? It's F11. Let's go. That looks way better now. But, I mean, how, how would you like to do it? Uh, well, let's ask the viewers. Viewers, how would you like to see it? All my numerous viewers right now. They're not paying attention to me. Oh, they put me on mute. Oh. I did I didn't mean it, Emmer. No, I, I, I knew you were watching. Um oh the options were Emmer. Either we do our separate lists and just pin it in the Discord. Well, well, we'll do our separate lists and debate, and if we don't change each other's mind, just put it where we want to put it and then post in the Discord, or try to consolidate and agree on where something should, on where individual games would be uh, placed. Kind of an either-or thing. Try to meet in the middle for efficiency. So that's two for yours, Nathan. So we will we will stay organized. You think A, and I think there are a lot of games I would rank above Bowser's Inside Story. So I well, would. We can also change things. We can change things as we go. Yeah. Um. I do think. There's a lot of games I would rank above Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, but I am going to put it ahead of Super Paper Mario for me. All right. If, yeah, I, I do definitely agree ahead of Super Mario. And if, if it comes down to it and I realize that, in fact, like, there aren't too many games above it, then I will probably bump it up to S tier. Well, I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of S tier games in common that the general consensus might not be the same about, yeah. but we'll see. Um, it's weird that they split the Mario and Luigi games up like this, but Super Mario 64 appears to be next. Yeah, I have kinda, you I pushed, played it? I pushed it to the end. I pushed Super Mario 64 to like the, uh, to the end of the Mario, of Mario games. Luigi's. I kind of clicked. Oh, there. okay, I got you, got you. Reorganized. Okay, so. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I've never played it. Yeah, um, neither have I. Oh, how do you want to do Team? Dream Team? I've also never played that one. How do you want to um do duplicates? Do we want to throw them and never play just to get them out of the way? Yeah, because there's three Bowser's in, or a, a second Bowser's Inside Story and a second Superstar. Yeah, it's because they're the remakes, but. I would play the originals over the remakes anyway. Now, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, I have, in fact, either played or watched. Um, Brother, I've never even heard of it, one. so... I don't, I don't remember which one, but I do remember it being um, okay. It's one of the ones that are, like, cult classics, but it's mostly nostalgia, but there is at least, like, a basis for it, so it's... I would probably... I personally say it's on the um, snes and i've never played it i you know what we'll just we'll just slap it in d well oh though i do have yeah i'll put it next to partners in time i'll put it next to partners in time i i did actually play partners in time but okay now we're at super mario 64 um i have probably we actually both have and it's probably I considered Super to be Mario. I watched Super Mario RPG on Chugga Con. I did not know Chugga Conroy played that game. Man plays too many games. I used to really like his full playthrough style. I still do. It's just he he did like two games I didn't like in a row. So I just kind of fell off the yeah. train. I think the last um... one I watched was Pikmin. I mean, I I think that might have been the last one I watched, too. My thing is, he does one game at a time, and he does, like, a really full, comprehensive, like, multiple months-long playthrough with, like, a video a day. 
yeah i really like that uh because it felt not rushed and had a lot of useful like fun trivia yeah but it's also, cool when it's a, a game you enjoy a, a few games in a row i wasn't super into i think he's doing splatoon 2 story now which i'm not like but that interesting I will say, if we keep going on crazy tangents, this is going to take us till yeah. 4 a.m. So, um, Super Mario 64, Mario probably 64. one of the most influential Mario games, in my opinion, being the, f I think, the first 3D Mario game. Um, Definitely a classic. Definitely one of my favorites. I don't know if I'd rank it. Now, are we ranking it personal opinion-wise, or where we think it would place personal opinion personal wise. opinion wise our tier list, not the world. basing it basing it off of how much fun we had playing it not necessarily comparing it to other games i i had a lot of fun playing 64 back in the day and i like watching speed runs of 64 now um rank wise I am going to put a controversial controversial opinion out, and I'm going to say I feel like, personally, I would put it at, like, I would put it at B. Because I feel like it was very fun, and for when it was released in its time, it was definitely one of the top games, and that's part of the reason why it's super popular. But I feel like a lot of the more modern games are more fun for me, and I had a lot of enjoyment out of them. That's true. I guess it's a matter of where you think it places as a Mario game, not necessarily comparing it based off of the future of 3D Mario games, because things only get better. Um, I was going to put it A. Just because of... Well, one, not only do I have a lot of fond memories of it, but 64 itself is quite legendary. For a lot of things. What's up? Where on A? Um, probably behind Thousand Year Door. At the moment, I think if if all four of those games were on a shelf, I would reach for sixty four last out of the four. I know, I know. There's some probably big sixty four fans in the chat right now. I'm I'm sorry, brother brothers i suppose there's a handful of you but would not i don't know maybe i'm just a sucker for rpgs you know i i agree with you i'll put it on a on the end of a uh now we're got to the best mario game of them all mario paint the okay. best, the best theme, most iconic theme ever in Mario, uh, in my humble opinion. Honestly, completely um, true. Definitely S+. Plus. Um, yeah, I'm going to be completely honest. I watched like a 50-minute documentary on this game. <laughs> I did not go that far. Um... I like that's the only information I have on the game at all. Uh it's got good music, but what Mario game doesn't? Um I would throw it in D. D you said? Well, maybe even E because it's like sort of a game. I'll I'll, I'll put it in E. Yeah, E sounds good. Now for the now... best Mario game in existence. Oh, Mario yeah. Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I've never played it. Now, I personally think that the unique perspectives offered from Luigi and the Rabbids using Mario and Bowser's forces honestly a really cool brother versus brother, every man for themselves. And I applaud the creators of the game for intense bravery in exploring such a delicate subject. Do you not think using Rabbids is just a cop-out? It is a cop out, but it's a cop out used in a very genius and influent influential way. Uh, millions of people in years will look back fondly on this game and remember that one time when the rabbit. 
screamed. I just remember seeing the game on a on a on a shelf in Walmart, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not buying that." So, I mean, that's pretty much as far as my opinion went. the 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 fame of the Raymond Raven Rabbids games wasn't from the Rabbids. Rabbids are just minions. They're just fucking minions. That's all they are. I'm gonna I'm gonna be completely honest. I have heard really good things about this game. Like a lot of good things about it. I have not personally played it though, so we could put it in unplayed, but I have heard like people like that, that apparently there's a sequel coming out, or maybe it's already come out. I think it's probably already come uh, out. It's probably deeper on the list. There, I heard somebody talking like about how excited they were because the first one was like a really good game. I could not bring myself to rank it higher than E. You wouldn't put it higher than Super Paper Mar- or Super Mario RPG Legend of the Star. No. I most importantly, I wouldn't pi- put it above Partners in Time. I haven't. How about in between the two? <laughs> D ranking for the Rabbids game. All right, fine. How about we put it in unplayed and then we'll play it later and then rank. Fine. Uh, right. looks like we got th- four versions of d- five versions, six ver, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> okay. ten I versions just, of Doctor Mario. I think we should Mario. just. I think we should just compare Doctor Mario and Doctor Luigi. I feel like they're both. D or C tier. I feel like Doctor Luigi is better than Doctor Mario because Luigi is the main character. I would rank Doctor Mario higher because its music is so fire. Doesn't Doctor Luigi use like the same music? If if it does, it's not the OG. You know, it's not. Man, o- I gotta look at the Doctor Luigi theme real quick. Okay, let me just put all 52 versions of Dr. Mario in Dr. Mario 64, that one, Dr. Mario Express, Dr. Mario Miracle Cure. They're all just fucking puzzle games. Um... Yeah, you're right. The theme is not as, but like I, I still hold to the opinion that playing as Luigi is better than playing as. If your only reason to put Doctor Luigi above Doctor Mario is the fact that it's Luigi, I don't know okay. if that's a strong enough you forget, argument. You forget, Brandon. But this is literally the exact same game. The only difference being the music and the playable character. Yeah, but the music is on a higher tier than the playable character because you're not actually playing Mario and Luigi. You're just playing Tetris with pills. Fine, fine. <laughs> I agree, but I think I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in, them both in E. Darker Mario ahead of Mario Paint. How do you Dr. feel about Luigi that? Behind Mario Paint. Yes. Just because but Mario they're like Pain, the exact same game. They're the same game, but the music is... I would rank Dr. Mario music above Mario Paint music, but I would rank Mario and Paint I would music have, above Dr. I Luigi. Would, I would rank the gameplay of Dr. Luigi miles above Mario Paint. That is... That is fair. Okay, we'll put... We'll, we'll put the two doctors ahead of Paint. Alright. Now, now, next up is actually, like, a game that we've both played and i think is pretty good which one are you looking at all three of them pretty much whoa whoa, oh all of the billions of dr marios i already threw every other dr mario in. i already did okay so did i i I was thinking about the next game in the order but they put a super mario advance in the middle of all uh olympic games so i'm putting that at the end uh, I, there's a bunch of Olympic games here. I don't remember which one we played. I think it might have been the first one. Oh, uh, um, we only played... We played... We played London, 2012. And we played Winter Games. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. We played three. We played the original one, because I remember having the picture. Yeah, I remember Winter the picture. Games, and we played London, 2012. And... I'm not going to lie, whatever tier we put them in, they're all going in the same tier. 
they're all going immediately next to each other. I would put them in like, I would I would put them in like B. I feel in B or B. I above really, Superstar really, Saga. I enjoyed the game a lot. Like the the co op aspect of them. Like games, if they include co op in like local multiplayer and stuff, in my opinion, increase the amount that I like them by a lot. I I don't know. I'm a, I'm a single I'm a single player lover, a uh, single player enjoyer, if you will. And I, I I don't know. I mean, it's a I love the games. Don't get me wrong. It's mini games. It's mini games. It's like it's like Mario Party, but just a different series. And I like I like Mario and Sonic. So. I would be willing to put it in C or D, but I would not be willing to put them ahead of Superstar Saga. Fine, fine. I'll put them behind Superstar Saga. But I but am putting honestly, I am putting them in the order original Winter Games then London. Actually, can we put can we put London in Forsaken because it's British? Yeah, yeah, actually, that's acceptable. Actually, we only played the Wii version, so make sure it's not that 3DS version. Okay, and yeah. then I'm going to put the rest of them in Unplayed to save time. Yeah. Now now there's a bunch more Mario games. Now, I personally didn't play... I played... I, I actually think I did play or watch Mario vs. Donkey Kong and Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2. I'm looking at Super Mario Advanced right now. I I I I think I'm maybe I just skipped that one, but I did not. I have not played that. No, wait, isn't that is that two? Look is up that just Mario look Bros. up pictures of Super Mario Advance. Just just so you no, get an idea. Two. Um, let me look. Uh, I doesn't actually show any gameplay. We'll just look up gameplay. gameplay of it. We played this on. <laughs> is this the is this one of the games we played, ten seconds at a time on Brawl? I'm pretty sure I had it. That was Super Mario Bros. Two, but it might be the same game. Um, That's what I was thinking. I'm a I'm a big Super Mario Advance type of guy. We played this one. I'm sending it an image to you now. That's Super Mario Bros. 2. I don't think we've played Advanced. I have. I had it on... I played it on the DS Lite with a physical cartridge, I'm pretty certain. It was one of the used games I bought. At GameSpot, or GameStop. Oh, and what would you rank it as? As far as Mario platformers, I'm an Advanced fan. Um, it, mm, I personally would put it as my first B. A lot of those old Mario platformers have a special place in my heart, but I'd will be willing to compromise and put it C. Above Dr. Luigi? Yes. <laughs> um... I would personally put it put Superstar Saga above it, but I haven't played it. Um so I would I guess I should probably just trust your uh your B ranking. Okay. Uh Super Mario Bros is that deluxe? Uh there's Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Did you rearrange your list? Oh. Where where are you seeing deluxe? Maybe did I accidentally put it in a... Oh, I accidentally put it in Unplayed. It's gonna go back into Unplayed. Yeah, I don't... But yeah, that's Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. I don't actually think I played it, but... I didn't play Mario vs. Donkey Kong either. But, okay. You cannot tell me you don't recognize Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2's, like, cover image. I recognize it, and it's one of those games... Again, on the Walmart shelf that I looked at, and I was like, I don't know if that's something I'm into. I remember, like, vividly playing it. 
and it was not that good, but I would put it above Dr. Mario. You would put it above regular Dr. Mario in E? In E or the bottom of D. But original I'm or two? Uh, two. I'm putting original and unplayed. Okay. Um, the other ver- the other version of it. Uh, unplayed since it's a duplicate. Now here we go, Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Have you played I it? Have um. I would put it. I liked it more than Super Mario Six. I am a big Super Mario World guy. You may not know this, but I am a Super Mario World two-time champion. Is that Super Mario World 2? It does look to be Super Mario World 2. Where's 1? I don't I know. I hope it's on the list, but it's hard to tell because there's 52 billion games. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll treat this as 1 until we find 1, okay? Because it right. says Game Boy Advance, which sounds right to me. Um, and I would, I would almost put it as the pinnacle of Super Mario platformers, two D side scrollers. But uh, I said I would put it as probably the pinnacle of Mario two D side scrollers. I can think of one that I would rank above it simply because of nostalgia. I I think I also know which one you're thinking of, um, but I would I would I would put it above Super Mario sixty four in A maybe S. You cut out for that last part. You said maybe S. Yeah. Um, if you'd be cool with it, I would I would be happy with Super Super Mario World being the first S tier. Sure. Yeah. I I had a good time with. Now, Mario versus Donkey Kong again. <laughs> Please, let's just move on. Have you... Fine. Uh, have you played Amiibo Friends Challenge? Um, no. Have you played, I don't know, Missing? Um, I think it's Mario is Missing. And yeah, I've, I think I've heard of that. I've heard of it, but I've never played it and not enough to rank it. And All right. Emmer, now, I Hotel know Hotel Mario. It is it, it is definitely deserving of that S tier. Uh, Hotel Mario, I heard of it. I don't remember much about it. I don't, but I think that it's like a very meme game. I am being informed by a a loyal viewer that he thinks it's an ed- educational game. He's pretty sure it's an educational <sighs> game. We might put an S tier then. I mean, I mean, education is what gaming's about i think i think this is my problem video games oh kind yeah of, it is a, it is definitely a. Ooh, i think it's the same with picture. mario's time machine okay you know you know ouija yeah i know ouija. here's an image of mario is missing that, that's ouija that's funny <laughs> can we put can we put mario is missing at least an F, because that's where Ouija came from. Forsaken. Forsaken? We can put it in Forsaken. Because that's where Ouija came from. That's funny. I think I know, I think that's where I know so much about Hope Mario. I think that's what I So, are you talking about Hotel Mario, Emerson? Evan... <laughs> I am being informed by a loyal viewer that no Mario be missing. <laughs> okay, okay, Mario missing is an educational game, and he's informing me that there's a level where you bring Sir Isaac Newton an apple. So definitely forsaken. It's where Ouija's from. Hotel Mario. <laughs> I have not heard of it. I oh he said bro wait. He's about to drop some bomb on us. This, this shit's going to be crazy. By the way, do you work in the morning? Or have school? Uh, I don't work, no. It's, uh, it's Labor Day. School's off. Hell yeah, okay. Um, I 
feel like Hotel Ooh. and Time Machine. Okay, I looked it up. Hotel Mario is is the game where this iconic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's a level where you bring Julius Caesar salad. <laughs> That's good. Okay. That's good. I might actually put it above for sake. No, it, just because that's where Ouija's from. Okay, I'm, we sending need you a, it. I'm sending you a picture. This is a picture from Hotel Mario. Um. Oh, this is just Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I'll, um, hold on. How do I, um... This is what we're looking at, Emmer. I'll, I'll show them on screen, um... From now on, oops. Though so this is hotel a picture from Hotel Mario is what he was saying. Um, do you know enough about Hotel Mario and Mario's time machine to rank it? Um, I I personally don't, but I can read. Um, Mario and Luigi head to the Mushroom Kingdom after being invited to a picnic by the princess. A picnic so basically, basket. Club Koopa Resort, uh, a letter from Bowser that claims that he and the Koopalings turned Mushroom Kingdom into their personal resort and have each taken over a hotel. It also states the princess is being held hostage in one of them and challenges them to find her. Wow, he's real they original. They go through a bunch of hotels. Uh, Iggy. Um, I, that's what I thought, I'm, Emmer. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure, I was pretty sure Time Machine was an educational game. Um, Ooh. can we put Hotel Mario and haven't played? I want to say, Hotel Mario was made by Philips CDI. Or for the Philips CDI, by, uh... That's... By Philips. That makes sense. Which, you know, in my opinion, it's gonna go in unplayed, but I feel like it's, you know, up there. Like, I feel like it's pretty, it's just because of who published it, it's good. Indeed. And made it, I suppose. Mario's Time, Time Machine, Machine, another... It's another educational game related to Mario is Missing. I don't know if it's more or less infamous. Um, I definitely he heard about Mario is Missing. Yeah, so either Unplayed or Forsaken. I'm gonna... I would put it in Unplayed just because we already have education yeah, up there. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll put it up. I'm By the way, now. anyone in chat, if you interject, interject with any of these, feel free to state your argument. Um, this is a, this is a democracy, but evidently, like, it's a true democracy where I'm in total control. So just keep now, that in mind. I think you're going to be, uh, pretty excited slightly over this next one. I don't know if you can read it. Can you read it? The puzzle-looking one? Uh yeah, it's a it's a it's a Mario game. You know you know you know. I'm not familiar with it. It's a puzzles and dragons Mario edition. Mm. Plus puzzles and dragons Z. I. It has a Z. There there's S2. two different versions: puzzles and dragons Z and puzzles and dragons. Z. Um, and you know you and I used to play puzzles and dragons. Did we? The app Puzzles and Dragons, that one game where you, you had to collect dragons, like the app on the phone. Send me an image. Send me an image. I know for a fact we played it. Yeah, that's that, that's cool, Emmer. I know Labs is heavy focus, um, and evidently we're slow as fuck, so we're pro probably gonna be here for the next twelve hours. But you know can't stop me there's a lot of kirby games i'll fight over um let's see there's a lot of people that are going to be oh this one yeah that's an s tier i'm going to stop looking through this because i sent you the images this is going to unlock some hidden Bro, this game was fire. There was a Pokemon version, like a Pokemon DLC. I'm pretty sure they had they had events every. It still is exist, and they still have events. They have events with DLC characters, essentially. This where is they bring in like things from a week. This from is various. The mobile time. game we're talking about. Um, 
it was a it was a puzzle game where you would like level up your dragons and fucking fight them, fight with them. I mean, oh, it was badass. Oh, I love that game. There was a Mario version. Yeah, I I wasn't able to get it, but I remember actually like genuinely. Three DS. That's crazy. Um, um the... I personally just because it's Puzzle and Dragons would put it on the list because um, we, we can guess what the gameplay is. Yeah, Puzzles and Dragons. We haven't played it, but we can guess. Also, it's plus this Mario game. It's not. I think yeah, it's, it's a combination puzzles and game. Plus Puzzles and Dragons. Um, two different versions. Would you uh put a D? I personally would. I have a lot of nostalgia. For I would put it Dragon. above the Doctor Mario puzzle games simply because. I don't Did know. You say put it in E. I said D. D. Okay. The tier above the Doctor Mario puzzle games. Um. I would put it above Mario and Sonic. Above um, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. I think. I think my thing with it is it's just super super simple. It is, but like, there's so much, and this is our personal list. So I'm taking nostalgia 100 percent into account when i decide where it would be. and i have a lot of nostalgia for dragons like even though it's such a stupid thing to have a lot of nostalgia for because it's a mobile game but mm. like i can f- i have say... more nostalgia for it than mario and sonic i can say i enjoyed playing mario and sonic more though this was a fire thing um hmm I enjoyed Mario and Sonic, but I have more puzzle dragons. How about like? Well, I, I okay, I'd be more... willing. I'd be willing to move Mario and Sonic Olympic Games down to D. What would that do? But well, because I would like to put puzzles and dragons. Well, you know what? I can put puzzles and dragons in C. Uh, it just feels a little high for a mo- for what's essentially a mobile game, but yeah, but it's plus Mario and it has a Z after. Uh, it doesn't feel right, but I'll, I'll I'll put it in C. Have you played Mario Pinball Land? I haven't, but I played Waluigi Pinball. Um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be its own game, realistically. Probably. So we'll put that in unplayed. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, um, also a very good, very good platformer. Definitely, definitely com- comparable to Super Mario. Um, in terms of, like, Comparable to what games? Sorry, you cut out. Super Mario World, in terms of, like, notoriety and, like... Three's good, sheer it's... Your amount of popularity surrounding It's it. older, and I don't know if I would put it quite as peak as World. Um, I would put a? it... I would put it a below sixty four. I had more fun with sixty four. Yeah. yeah. Um. I don't know what this Wario game is. Wario typing, maybe. I don't know. It's in. It looks like it's in Japanese. Yeah, Mario teaches typing is a notable one. I mean, it's it's a typing game. I have heard of that. I would put it in. I would put it. I would put it right next to Mario Paint. Yeah, I, I was. I'm on the same page right. on that one. Mario I don't, I don't know touches typing. We'll put that one in un unplayed. Fortune Street. Have you played that? I haven't, but I do see some notable characters like the Goo. I don't remember his name from, from uh, Kirby. Kirby. Donkey Toad. Kong Mario. Toad. Donkey Toad. Kong Mario. That is a weird. It must be like a Monopoly ripoff or something. Okay. I'm putting that in unplayed. Um, now, now I have played the first two Luigi's Mansion games. So have I. But not the third. Strangely, no, I haven't played the most recent one either. Um, so this I'm is put the third one in unplayed. Works for me. Luigi's Mansion is, um, the first notable time where, barring Doctor Luigi. Where Luigi had his own title that was... Dr. Luigi is a very recent game. Is it really? 
Yeah, yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. I've never heard of it until this time. Oh, sorry. Not very recent. It's 2013. But oh, still, relatively recent very comparative recent. Comparative to Dr. Mario. Luigi's Mansion is... It was for the Wii U. That's it, why I probably thought it was very recent. Gotcha. It was for the Wii U. It, it, is, it is infamous as Luigi's first, like, main infamous? title. It is famous. I mean, infamous works. Infamous is more like bad famous. Like no, no, you, you can be infamous in a good connotation. I'm pretty sure it's like infamous is is. It can be really used both bad. ways. Either way, right. it is it is famous uh, for having being... an exceedingly bad reputation. Nah, I remember I remember using it like as famous for so long, and then somebody was like, "Hey, dude, what the hell? What the hell do you mean he's infamous?" Nah. You're wrong. And then I felt bad. Oh, so you just want to would... make me feel bad. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I would put Luigi's Mansion, um, the first one, above Super Paper Mario, below Mario and Luigi. Because, like, it, I, I don't have the nostalgia for it. Um, it was, it compared, what, but a I 64 definitely... game, I think? Yeah. GameCube, um, actually. I'm pretty I, sure it was GameCube. I was, I was, I was about to... Say it might um, be actually. Because um, I think it looks too good uh, for six or just sixty-four. Yeah, I, I either honestly above or below that. Paper Mario, but like somewhere in that. I mean, nostalgia-wise, I have more nostalgia for Super Paper Mario, but because of its reputation actually, and the fact that it is Luigi, you know, Luigi's pretty fire. Yeah, you could. But sure, okay. I actually, I actually changed my mind. I think Super. You cut out. I got. Rem I think Super Paper Mario goes above it. Um, I'm thinking, and I'm thinking about all the things that are in Super Paper Mario and stuff, and I'm remembering that you can now play as Luigi. You can play as Luigi in Super Paper Mario, as well as Bowser well, and the, Peach. The yeah, the message you can now play as Luigi um, is in that game. I think the meme is in um, is in Galaxy, but I'm pretty yeah. sure like when you unlock luigi it says you can now play i remember there was a rumor in super mario 64 that if you did this like secret thing like you could get to the top of the castle or something like that you could play as luigi 2024 um luigi's mansion dark moon uh i i wouldn't put yeah. it as high as the first one i i wouldn't either i i liked it the is, first one more it is dark moon is unmemorable to me it's basically just luigi's mansion one but more mansion um yeah i mean i to me it's just like a remake uh i would i would put it in c where in c um between puzzles and dragons and superstar saga I was gonna put it in between oh, you puzzles. Moved, you and... moved advance. Um, Where did we have advance? Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was on B. Oh, it was B. That was a mistake. I was gonna put it in between puzzles and dragons and Mario and Sonic. Just cause I like Superstar Saga a lot still. And. All right. Yeah. I mean, I'd be also willing to move it behind the Olympic Games series. Honestly, it is good. Um, it is it is good in aspect of Luigi's Mansion game, and it was made. It it basically feels the same as Luigi's Mansion. Like they didn't really try anything super new besides more mansion. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, we could move I it down still, to D. I would I would still put it. I would probably put it in between Mario and. Super okay. Dragon. Um. I, we're gonna call this original Donkey Kong. Now, yeah, um, the original Donkey Kong. I have played it. Believe it or not, we both um, have played it on <laughs> Dad's Clay Vision. So, I would one hundred percent put it on the top one of the top three tiers. Um, like, it is. It's a very good game. A very enjoyable game. Very um, simple, classic arcade game. Um, I would put it B. Because I wouldn't think of it on the same level as really yeah. any of the ones in A tier. 
I'd put it above Advance, though. Yeah, I would say I do remember Donkey Kong more. Um, have you played Donkey Kong Jr. or 3? I've I've seen it, them before, not enough to Okay. Care. Unrank. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the other two Donkey the other Yeah, the ones that are weirdly after it. Wait, hold on. Yeah, there's a these lot are... weirdly after Donkey it, Kong Jr. Math, okay? The, a Donkey Kong for Game Boy. There's we'll the stop there. Cuz we're going to start getting into the yeah, Donkey let's Kong just go, let's stuff. Do super, let's... Actually, I do see a second Super Mario 64 up ahead for the Nintendo DS. Yeah, we're going to ignore the uh, the remakes, um, unless they're like um, infamously bad remakes. Super Mario Sunshine. You see that, Nathan? Um, you see that? Infamously bad? I used it right this time. Um, you did. Super Mario Sunshine? Well, technically, technically speaking, um, yeah, just to say bad a double negative, baby, 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 baby. No, it's not a double negative, it's just repeating yourself, so you could just say infamous remakes you know yeah um, but you know in my head it can still be infamously so super good. mario sunshine i would put an f i'm, I'm kidding um, super I've mario sunshine actually but they have seen the entire game it, it, it is it is actually super mario sunshine upon original release was not very well received it was not it was it, not it was um, considered to be a worse um I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was considered to be a worse 64. That being said, I like it as much as 64, I, maybe even more. I've seen a playthrough. I would definitely put it in B or A. Um, I'd be willing to put it above 64. Maybe not much higher than that. I would put it above a thousand years of store, but I don't know that Luigi's Mansion. I um, I would not put it. Uh, we we can mix it up a little bit because I I would not put it ahead of Thousand Year Door. I said I might be willing. Yeah, to put yeah, it yeah. Thousand Year Door. Um, I have no. I don't have personal experience playing it, but I do remember seeing it and thinking. I it played it on the game. Switch recently. That might be why I like it so much because I played it more recently. Is this? Now, I'm putting. All the Donkey Kongs up to Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Returns, I think, would be the first one. For well, I have played a couple of these older ones. I haven't played the Game Boy one. Um, the original Donkey Kong Country, um, I did play. I don't remember, I, I either played it or watched it, because we didn't have a Super Nintendo. But it was good. I do, I do like the Donkey Kong Country. Um, let's see. Let me just make sure it's the right version I'm thinking about. Yeah. But no, this is another, I would, dare I say, legendary game. But personally, I have I would... no experience. I would say legendary, but I would say again, it's kind of a product—not a product of its time because it did it did age pretty well. I feel like it's one of those games because I have seen it. It aged okay. It was very hard. Like I didn't beat it. I would. I would put it. I would have trouble putting it lower than the original Donkey Kong. Or not lower, but on a lower tier than the original Donkey Kong. Yeah, I would personally I would put, put it... it I would put it above... I would put it to the left of Donkey Kong, because I definitely would have... A I think I think Donkey Kong Country is enjoyable, but very difficult, at least for the ki for me as a kid. Um, I have, I have not played Donkey Kong Land. Um... Donkey Kong Country 2, I think, is the one where you can switch between switch between like the four or two apes. I think it's the one where Diddy Kong is rescuing Donkey Kong. Um, it is, yeah. Diddy's Conquest. I'm pretty sure Diddy's Conquest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure That's a that's a good pod. <laughs> Diddy's Conquest. Yeah. But Country 2 right back 
Maybe Country 2 is the difficult one. Why is Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Home on this list? Those aren't games. What are you talking about? That's goofy. Why is Splatoon 3 on this list? It's not even out. Wait, there's Super Mario World again. Wait a minute, what? The oh yeah, I saw the original, because we put two. We used two as the original. I haven't played two. But yeah, Donkey Kong games? Pretty fire. For the most part. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call the recent ones fire. Because, I don't know. I mean, I guess I just haven't played them. Now, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. We're at Donkey Kong Country 2. Um, Did you play it? I watched a video on it. Um, I don't know, gameplay-wise, if it was more, better or worse received than the original, but I would put it lower than the original for the pure fact that, I don't know, I haven't played it. I'm sure it's good. You get to play as Diddy play Kong and, and, uh, the female one, I don't remember her name. I would you put, it, put it in unplayed, it's Dixie Kong. Dixie Kong, like our dog. I've seen enough of it to rank it, but we can put it in unplayed. Um, Donkey Kong Land 2, I haven't played. Have you? No, Country I haven't played three. anything, pretty much. Uh, I haven't played Land 3. I haven't played Diddy Kong Racing. Donkey Kong 64. Was that the one that the DK rap was from? I think think that was from a TV show. Unless I'm thinking of a different uh, song. I'm No, no, no. I'm thinking of a different song. DK Rap is 64. Is it from 64? Yeah. I'm looking at pictures of DK64, and it is not familiar with to me in the slightest. Yeah, let me look at pictures. But you're sure DK Rap is from 64? positive okay as positive as you can be I think. in that case i can't rightfully put it in unranked because the dk rap is gas i um, really don't want to don't don't feel like it should be like, i agree i mean we could just make a new tier below forsaken and above unplayed music or something <sighs> Nah, if you don't feel like ranking it, we can put it in unplayed. Uh, Donkey Konga and Donkey Konga 2. Donkey Konga 2, in my opinion, is one of the best games Nintendo released full stop. Really? <laughs> yes. Just the pinnacle of the Konga series. Anyway, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat... Have you played that? Uh, no. What about Donkey Konga 3? Donkey Konga 3, in my opinion, is just barely worse than Donkey Konga 2. And if they made a package of Donkey Konga 1, 2, and 3, I would rank it above Super Mario 
world and galaxy 2 gotcha dk king of swing um for game boy advance I've, I've never heard of that heard once of that. i have heard of that once um have you played it no okay diddy kong, diddy kong racing, racing i DS. have played um i i noticed it was on the list earlier um the original diddy kong race but i have played diddy kong racing ds um but i don't have enough memories of it that i would be like actually personally i would probably put it e tier e um i would put e tier below donkey kong, mario versus donkey kong 2 um mario versus donkey also... kong 2 uh oh i see, third, I, see, I, see. Or I see second one um you would put it yeah, actually, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Dr. Mario is a puzzle game, I can't forget that. Even though it did have a gasp playlist. Um, yeah. Barrel Blast. I have not played that. What is that name? That's Jungle Climber, I think. DK Jungle Climber. Jung Jungle Climber, yeah, I haven't played that. Now, is this, no. is this Donkey Kong Country Returns, or just Donkey Kong Returns? It's Donkey Kong. I think it's Donkey Kong Country Returns. Because later you see Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Because if it's Donkey Kong Country Returns, I like it. It's got to be Donkey Kong Country Returns. But it doesn't know what say Donkey Country. Kong okay, let's just rank it as Donkey Kong Country Returns. Because I don't Sounds see Donkey good. Kong Country Returns on the list. Is that, Donkey Kong Country Returns is the Tiki one, right? Yes. Um. I personally, at this point, I would put it above the original Donkey Kong because I played it. Um, but you might have a different. It on that. it definitely isn't Donkey Kong Country Returns, but we're gonna rank it as Donkey Kong, Co and maybe it's the Japanese cover of it. Um, I would, yeah, honestly, I would rank it up. I would rank it B with Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, just, Donkey I Kong have... Returns does not exist. Yeah, it must be the Japanese cover then. But I would rank it B with Country. Um, New Super Mario Bros. Um, the pinnacle of 2D S. platformers. I would put it in S because our, yeah, it's funny. I put it at the top of S right now. <laughs> I I I'm sorry, Emerson. This one has a special place in my heart. I can't do without my new Super Mario Bros. for the DS. So I would put that in S. I have not played Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, but we agreed that those are going there. Have you played Donkey Kong Country Freeze? We've what? Have you played Donkey Kong Country Freeze? No. Okay, we'll put that in a play then. I don't know why... It says has a Switch version and a regular version because I thought it was released on Switch. 3DS and Switch. 3DS and Switch. Now we have okay. a really one of the, probably the biggest category on this entire thing. Except no, for Mario Galaxy, which they throw right in the middle of it, but you know. I think Pokemon's bigger, yeah, but um original Zelda. We'll go through the the lesser games faster. Original Zelda. Um, original Zelda I've played I would put it in like I think it's decent I enjoyed it 100% more than Donkey Kong I don't I, I haven't played Donkey Kong Returns uh, or not Donkey Kong Returns I haven't played Donkey Kong Country but I would 100% put it above the original Donkey Kong at the very least I would put it in between Country and the original Donkey Kong um both very good yeah. games. I haven't played Country, I think, but I, I I I do think that a retro Donkey Kong Country Returns would be. Um, so Zelda I Two, it. I haven't played. I we both have played the like thirty minute. Oh, is it the one in Brawl? Yeah, I've, I've, I've played it's the, the demo in Brawl. Side scroller one. We played the demo in Brawl. It, it's not super good. I would put I, it. In, I, I would put it in the end of D tier. Yeah, example. that's fair. Um. A Link to the Past. Link to the Past. I have played. I haven't played all the way through. Ooh. It's, it is, 
pretty good. Let I me say. let me look at a picture just so I can place which game it is. It's like one of the, like it's the most critically acclaimed besides Ocarina of Time and probably. Okay, okay, no, 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 I know this one. It's um, it's one of the. How do, we, how do you even describe it? I know this one. I played the remake, which was very good. Is the wait? Which one was the remake? If this is the game I'm thinking of, it's the more recent remake that was kind of 3D looking. Uh, you're thinking of Link's Awakening. Oh, Link's um, Awakening is Link to so the Link Past to the is past is one of the like. Oh no! I see now. I see now. It's the. I I want to I don't want to say RPG style because it's. It's the uh, I'm looking at pictures now. I don't think I. Did we it's play this or with, watch it? It's the one with low rule and stuff. I personally yeah. played it and watched it. I played it on an emulator. Oh yeah, it's a good game. It's it's high in quality. I would put it uh above, the original. I might even put it, um. I would personally put it in A tier. Um, I think A is fair. Like, I played it, genuinely. I feel the best two D Zelda game. Um, including like the three DS and DS ones, like my opinion, the best. I personally would put it above sixty four, even though that might. I I yeah no honestly I would I would I would agree with that I'm a fan of that style of game and I do remember either playing it or watching it now that I see some more pictures. NSMB Su new Super Mario Bros and S. Yeah I I oh I I forgot you were in a raid. Yeah no it's my personal favorite side scrolling Mario is new Super Mario Bros for the DS. Um. We just went through the Donkey Kong ones, which I feel like are some of the ones you might have strong opinions about, Emmer. But a lot of them we haven't played, so... I know you're a big King of Swing fan. Um, but unfortunately I haven't played it. Um, what is this next one? This is Link's Awakening, Game Boy version. Um, uh, Link's, Link's Awakening... Awakening. I, I personally haven't played the original version. Didn't play the original. I did play the remake, which I'm sure is on the list somewhere. Yeah, it's down it's there. It's gotta be, uh... So, you wanna put original in... I'm putting original in unplayed. <laughs> yeah, we have country... Well, we have country in B. Um... Because Nathan hasn't played it. Ranch. Um... And I was a big fan of Returns. Uh, we'll put original Link's Awakening and haven't played if that's cool. In what? In unplayed, and then we'll just rank the remake. Or would you rather rank the original as the remake? Oh, why do I have Link's Awakening in a? Oh, where to link to the past go? I com it's completely gone off my screen. Is it not in A tier? No, it just disappeared. Oh, it's in D tier for me for some reason. Hmm. Um, is this what uh, is this Game Boy Color one? Game Boy Color, probably some other version of Link's Awakening. It looks like it. I don't know what DX is. Um, Ocarina of Time. I would put S either A or S, because I would at the very least put it above 64. So, oh. my honest opinion on Ocarina of Time is a lot of people will be like, oh, this is the best Zelda game ever. It's 100% not, but I, I would not. It I did enjoy it a lot, and I would be willing to put it in A, even even above I would put it all the way past Luigi's Mansion personally, but where would you put it? I say I I say it above Super Mario sixty four anywhere anywhere above 64. 
I like it. Okay, I'm gonna put it between oh. Super Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion. All right. Yeah. Majora's um, Mask. I'm not gonna lie. I would... mm -hmm. uh, you go first. You go first. Go ahead. I've played it. I would put it either immediately before or after uh, Ocarina of Time, personally. I honestly wasn't as big of a fan. I didn't like it as much. Didn't feel as good. Uh, I, but I'd, I'd be yeah, I'd be willing guess, to put it I behind. Kind of have them, I have them connected in my mind. They feel like the same um, game. That's my major gripe with it. It didn't really do anything different. Well, it did a lot of like mechanic wise actually the masks and everything like the entire game to me felt like it the art style and engine was the same it had a like incredibly drastically different like story it had a different a feel to it games. yeah it was definitely a lot darker too i like i like i like the darker zelda games i know um, you do a bit we'll put it i mean i'll I like be willing to put it right behind ocarina of time how do you feel about that all right all right if you feel like it should go lower, you can, because I don't have incredibly things about Majora's Mask Crystal. My self-esteem needs your reaction on my labs raid. Post it in Tarkov chat, Emmer, and I will give you the live reaction to what your loot is. Real quick. 3k XP, 11 raider kills. Honestly, this labs raid, it's kind of mid. You know, I've had better. Uh, Yeah, no, all this loot is kind of shit. Uh, your backpack is kind of optimized horribly. Uh, I don't know why you even kept the hex grid. Uh, kind of the worst armor in the game. Pocket full of grenades, that's kind of a waste of space. You could have fit some extra heavier things in there. Overall, I rank it like a 3 out of 10. No, I'm kidding. That shit's insane. I, I don't know if I've ever seen more high-value loot in a backpack. And I am very impressed that you got it out with 83 red weight. You had to have had a mule or something. Shit's crazy. Anyway, next on the tier list, um, Super Mario Galaxy. Ooh. Oh boy, um, S for me. I would um, put that on S, baby. Nostalgia-wise, I think it is on par with New Super Mario. I would... I would honestly, personally... Mm. I, I have as much memories of it, I Because New Super Mario Bros, I, it was that game that I sat down and was basically the only one we had on the DS for a while. It was my first... for a long time. It was the my first game I ever bought on the DS. It was the game that came with my DS. So it's all I had for a while. I, yeah, I'm putting I used it a lot. I know. I'm putting Galaxy in between um, World and Bros. Yeah, I, I would. I do think I would put them on par with each other, but there's no way to really quantify that one. I do like the Galaxy series more than New Super, so I feel like we could sandwich it in between the two. Yeah, well, we're also ranking two when that comes up because that game's fire. Uh, next up, Zelda. Oracle of Seasons? Uh, Oracle of Seasons and Ages. They're going to go together. I haven't played them. I've heard a lot about them. I've heard, actually, specifically, I think Ages is a lot better than Seasons. I haven't um, played either of them, and I haven't heard I anything haven't about them. them. So we'll just put that in not played. Now, Wind Waker. I, personally, am going to put this in not played in recent positions. Say that again? I'm personally going to put Wind Waker in not played until the more recent up um as long as the recent more edition, recent edition the recent edition has a cooler picture on um as long as it's in the list we will we will rank is. that later but you already know where i'm putting that one so um yeah. what is i can't even read that one what is this next zelda game i i can't tell phantom hourglass maybe no Phantom Hourglass is later on past yeah, Twilight. Yeah, I, I, see, I see it. Minish Cap. That's what that's what it's got to be. It oh. has to be Minish Cap. I haven't played that. Haven't played it. Uh, Oops. Four Swords Adventure. Haven't played it. 
Um, mm, this one probably F tier. Probably F tier, maybe mid. Yeah, mid-tier. this one's this one's not even. It's not even that good. No, not even worth. Not even worth scoffing. I would at. be willing to put this. I would put this in S. Personally, I would put it above Galaxy, in my opinion. I I agree. Yeah, I'd put it above Galaxy. I do. I I I personally, because of how much I like it, would put it above. Galaxy, but I feel like you might disagree. Too. I I mean, we can reorganize our tiers. I think, tiers it's, I think it's the I think it's the first game you played. We other than like sport and stuff. It's definitely a game that we bought for a gift as a gift for dad, and then. He never played it. We just played it, so it was pretty much just a I gift to us. Indeed, um, but yeah, I'd put that in S. Is it actually? Oh, oh, oh God. God! What's wrong with it? Is it spiking? I mean, uh, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Try leaving the chat and coming back in. Oh, uh, that okay. I wonder if it sounds better now, but that was absolutely crazy. What did what what happened? It's good now. Okay. okay. Um, oh. I don't know. I was just going like I was gadding or something. Glitching out. Um. By the way, Emmer, my mic isn't just in your left ear, is it? Weird question. But it is coming in both ears now, right? I hear it in both ears. Great. Okay. Uh, that's why I like you, Emmer. You tell me how it is. Yeah, I would definitely put um, Twilight Princess. Personally, I would put... <sighs> that one's a toughie. I feel every aspect about Twilight Princess, other than nostalgia, is better than New Super Mario Bros. Okay, you got me. Yeah, we'll put that. we'll put that first. Um, I put the other one just to not play to get it out of the way. Um, I did too, yeah. Phantom Hourglass, have you played Phantom that? Hourglass. Uh, I have seen it. It looks interesting, but I I wouldn't. I don't have enough information to rank it. I have not Neither played Spirit Tracks. Spirit Tracks. Skyward Sword. You know where I want to place this, but I'm interested to hear your opinion on it. I would 100% put it, percent put it in S tier, same as... Uh, I am top Zelda games. gonna put it. I, I would. Uh, it's it's either to the left or right of Twilight Princess for me. Um, <laughs> Twilight Princess has the nostalgia value. I like. I liked Skyward Sword more than Twilight Princess, but that's just because my personal preference is lighter tones. I would put them almost on par with each other. I, I I could I could definitely vibe with uh, Skyward Sword. I'm starting to think we're just we're just mainstream Zelda fans. Um, New Super Mario Brothers yeah. Wii. Um, I so like that the game. Big aspect for that for me, I like it enough to put it in S or A. Um, I personally feel S, and my biggest memory of the game is I put it in the Wii one time. Um, and it was scratched up, and I was trying to fix it. And then we went on vacation, and Dad took it away with us. And then, and then he bought us the most goaded game Sonic. of all time, <laughs> Sonic and the Dark Knight. List, if that's on that list, it's going to get <laughs> S tier. Such a good game. Anyway, um, um, I I like New Super the Mario Bros. Aspect, Wii. Fact I really liked. Um, um, I liked New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but you fuckers kept killing me. So Kessa kept killing you. No, she not was the no. only one. I mean, mostly Kessa. Personally, um, I'll put it at the back of S. Uh, I I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Galaxy more. Um, it's hard putting it. I feel like if it was for if it wasn't for nostalgia, I would one hundred percent put this above. New Super Mario Bros. in any every way, shape, and or form, but this is our own personal list. Yeah, um, I I, could... I personally put it above World. Um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't heart putting it above DS. 
Though I, d- I did like the but Wii yeah. version very well. Original Super Mario I'd, Brothers. Per- I'd personally put it above World, um, but that's because I haven't really, I don't have too much experience uh, with Nostalgia or anything of that game. The original Super Mario Bros. Iconic for sure. You know, we have the original Donkey Kong and Zelda up in B. I would put this next to one of those. I agree. I agree. I um, feel like it is less enjoyable than the original Zelda, more enjoyable than Donkey Kong. And I would, put it in the- I would agree to that with that to a T. And are these two Triforce Hero? No, that is. Is that Shadows of the what is it? Link's Shadow Shadow to Another World, Link Shadow something Shadow, you know? I mean there's Link Between Worlds. Is that Link Between Worlds 3DS? I think I that is. Well Link Between Worlds was an original 3DS game, so if we don't see it anywhere else, then it's I think be that's that. it. Well the Triforce with the Shadow makes me think it's Link Between Worlds. Oh yeah, yeah, it has Which to be. I Link didn't play, World, but I, I did see a series on it. It is a, it is very similar to Link to the Past, not in story really, but in just generalness about it. I guess the question is, would you rank it above or below Link to the Past, here wise? I would definitely, I would definitely put it below Link to the Past. Is iconic, more iconic, and like. Link Between Worlds is like the Link's Awakening remake to Link to the Past, but it focuses on going into like 2D spaces instead of going into the past. Would you? Um, okay, so are you thinking B tier? Yeah, yeah. I would put it. I would definitely put it above the original Zelda. I would put it above the original Zelda, definitely. Okay. Um. We're gonna. No, I don't know where it would go between country. Um, I'm just gonna leave those how they are because, well, it's it's weird ranking them, and I figure I'll just leave it next to the other Zelda game. Okay, okay a couple three Ds. Now we're on to Wind Waker. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. I have Triforce Heroes first. Triforce have you Heroes played that? Play. You didn't play that. Uh, okay, play. Um, didn't play that. I think this looks like another Majora's Mask. Wind Waker, baby, you know where I want to put this. What's your opinion? My opinion is, again, next to Twilight Princess is Skyward Sword. It is I personally, my... For the sake of, I personally, for the sake of balance, if it's put up above Twilight Princess, I would want to put Skyward Sword below Twilight Princess. Yeah, I, I know personally on our top three Zelda games, we flip... Um, we flip Skyward Sword mm. and Twilight Princess because I know you ranked Twilight Princess first. Um, but that's so just is, personal what, preference. What are, what are, is your Wind Wake is Wind Waker your top? Wind Waker okay. is my second favorite Zelda game. So yeah, I would be, I would be cool. I would put, I would, I would be good if we put like Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker. If that's a good balance, sure. Okay, we're gonna go through the Zelda games, and then I'm gonna go get water. Um, right. another Twilight Here's Princess. Another Twilight Princess. I do like that cover better, but I, there's no point in switching it. That that's the uh, uh the first no, one's more I, iconic. I like the, I like the original one better actually. Never um, Hyrule Warriors. I didn't play it. I know you did. I played it um on an emulator for the original Hyrule Warriors. It was pretty good, honestly. Ignoring like 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 a bit of it um like actually never mind not ignoring any of it it's still a pretty good game i would put it in personally b tier but since you haven't played it i would put it i would be willing to put it lower um i'd put it c i the the reason i didn't play it i did research and i almost bought it but i just didn't like the style i really enjoyed the play a bunch of different characters um, I would put it in between Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, and Mario and Sonic, personally, if it's going to that be works, going yeah. here. Um, now, ooh, Hyrule Warriors uh, 3DS, Breath of the Wild. Uh, we're going, we're going to be putting that in unplayed, because the next, next one is the, the actual Switch version. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2. You know where I want to put this, puppy. 
I'm putting Mario Galaxy 2 ahead of New Super Mario Bros. I concur. But before the Zelda games, but that's probably because it's going to be really hard. I want to be honest, Brandon, it's going to be really hard for me to put anything above the three Zelda games. It's going to be hard for me too, but I'm, I think that's just because we like Zelda. Are you back, Emmer, or are you just fucked for good now? While he's answering that, I know we have we have some good, strong okay. opinions about Breath of the Wild. My first strong opinion is I would 100% put it in S tier because it's like it, it's I don't think it goes to the top three. Like I feel like it's I think if, if it's in S tier, it would be above New Super Mario Bros. Wii Below Galaxy. Um, I would I would agree it belongs in S tier. I would not put it... Actually... I wouldn't... Well, see, I... It might it might go with... See, I... It doesn't... It breaks the formula a lot. Um... And I... I... My, my issues with it is, like, it lacks most of the iconic actual feeling of any Zelda game. Like, it doesn't have any of the, the items, it doesn't have any... It has some of the enemies, but it doesn't have any any of, like, the iconic bosses, besides not, High Not, if you're including, like, Zelda. It definitely it breaks the formula, it, which doesn't like necessarily... Game, and my favorite aspect of, like, the top three Zelda games on this list are, like, in my fa like one of my favorite aspects is the dungeons, and Breath of the Wild dungeons are ass. Like The dungeon system in Breath of the stuff. Wild is rough. I think I think the game itself belongs in F, but I could not, in my in, right did mind, you say F or in S. No, I said S. I thought I said S. I heard. Sorry, I I heard F. Sorry. I might have um, said F, but it belongs in S. Maybe, but I would put it. Um, I would might put it in between two and Mario Bros. Maybe maybe above two actually. I would. In S somewhere. I liked Galaxy. Here, I'm gonna reorganize it. Oh, oops. I'm gonna reorganize a bit, and I would put it right in between Galaxy and New Super Mario Bros. Galaxy One. Yeah, I can see that. That's fair. Um, I haven't played Hyrule Warriors. Uh, Hyrule Warriors is already on I already the list, ranked but that. Hy Hyrule Warrior is Age of Calamity. Is a different game. <sighs> I, in all honesty, I I played it. I would put it lower than the original Hyrule Warriors. The original Hyrule Warriors had like all different characters from all the different Zelda games. Hyrule Warriors is restricted to specifically Breath of the Wild, and it just yeah. does not. Its ver variety of characters is just not as good. I wouldn't put it. In Did F, it surprisingly nothing in F yet? Um, it's just because any game that probably would end up in F, we haven't played. Me yeah um um so i would personally put it in c below mario and sonic in the olympic games c does the fact that it has sort of a story to it blend anything yeah it does its story is is interesting um it kind of went a, like it, there was a big outcry that i didn't know about until after i started playing it about how people thought it was going to be a prequel to breath of the wild but was actually a completely alternate storyline about time travel yeah that one was stuff. that one was that well that was a little um, bit weird and um, its gameplay is fun and i like getting out big combos and stuff and killing a lot of guys but it just the lack of characters kind of kills it for me compared to the original gotcha. in fact i want to get the original just to play it okay uh, Link's, Awakening, Link's Awakening. The we're gonna rank the remake because that's the one I've played. Yeah. Um, I like I like this style of game. I do like honestly the graphics of the original a little better, but I'm not a big graphics guy, so I don't I don't care that much. I would put it. <sighs> I didn't enjoy it as much as the paper. I would put it B, somewhere in B. I would put it in between the original Zelda and uh, Link to the Past, personally. That's fair. Or not Link to the Past, Link Between Worlds. Uh, the three CDI Zeldas that Nintendo pretends don't exist. Okay, the first one, Link and the Forces of Evil, I would rank. The other two I don't know enough about, 
but the first one I would rank somewhere on this. Maybe I, maybe maybe all three of them could go in I Forsaken. I feel like they all belong in Forsaken, but I, yeah. I feel like that's the only fair ranking to give them. The first one is so iconic, though. They're iconic and infamous in their own right. Oh, there's where Triforce Heroes went for me. Oh. I found Triforce Heroes. Gotcha. Well, we didn't play I that. We so. lost it there. Um, we didn't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take five because we're getting into Pokemon, which is one I have strong opinions about, and I need to go get water because my mouth is starting to get dry. Um, but I'll be right back. All right. I'll also return shortly. <laughs> okay Hello. we're gonna go through some of these pokemon games kind of fast because obviously like it's pokemon so it's sort of a formula yeah i think um the games that are in the same kind of you know gen like black and white i feel like we should just rank them like the same maybe one yeah the other but i think we should keep them together I feel like some of them are different enough that they need to be separate, like now for the Let's Go Heart game. Gold Soul, for Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I say that there's never going to be an agreement between us because they're both. We okay, okay. We're gonna I, start at I, the I, beginning at Red. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Red, uh, classic. Not my not my favorite of the games, but I played it. Uh, game that started it all. C. Okay, counter argument. Good game, solid game. I would put it alongside the original Zelda Mario Bros. and Donkey Kong. In B? Wait, where B. is that? In B? Sounds good. Yeah. Um, green? Where? Basically the same game. Um, I would put I it feel like my... between Mario Bros. and Zelda. I feel like my series bias was kicking in, so I just kind of put it in the list somewhere. But yeah, Mario Bros. and Zelda's fine. Uh, green, I think is same gen. Um, I don't know why I've it's only played Japanese. Red. Um, I've played the remakes of them. Uh, we'll put. I feel like the only fire, right... fire red and leaf green are in the uh. Yeah, well, I feel like it's only right to put put the other two in unplayed. Um, I don't know why Super Mario 3D Land is in here, but I guess we'll rank that because we already passed Mario. Actually, have you played? Uh, all right, yeah. Have you played 3D um, Land? I've played a bit of it. Yeah. Enough to rank. It is. I I would be able to rank it. I would say it would probably go in. B or C. It's it's. I think as far good. as Mario platforming, a three D Mario platforming goes, it's good, but it's de I think it was what the first of the actual three D ones. Yeah, in my opinion, it kind of lacks like identity. I mean, world, I could see being put higher. Um, but three D yeah. land, I would have to put it in C. Let's probably. slap it in C. I'll just put it at the bottom of C. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Pokemon Yellow. Um, only bitches want to start yeah. with Pikachu. I'm sorry, Emmer, if you're a Pikachu lover. 
Uh, I I never was a yellow guy, but it's identified enough by the fact that you start with Pikachu, Nathan, that I'd be willing to rank it in C. I could, I'd be willing to like meet you in the middle and put it in Forsaken. <sighs> Still a good game though. I I don't know. Uh, yeah, I could I could see it being put in C. I, I don't, mean, I could put it down think... to D if you want. It's just. Well, I don't. I haven't played it. Oh. But isn't it just fire red and leaf green? Well, oh, it's yeah. It's the third green, game getting, to it. Getting blue, but like it's the third game. But you start with Pikachu. Um, for gold and silver, uh, do we want to put those in unplayed and rank the superior versions of yeah. them, or yeah, the the hundred percent in every way superior versions of uh, them? Crystal. I um, haven't played. I've. I've played all the Pokemon games, sort of. Game Boy Color, I've played this one on an emulator, and it was... Boy, was it rough for me to play. It, it's one of those games that are so old that it's almost hard to overlook the graphics, and I would put it in... I, I'll get haters for this, but I would put it in D. Yeah. Um... So, okay. So this is I'm going to I'm going to put this out there. Have you played Ruby and Sapphire or their remakes? I have played Ruby and I have played Ruby on an emulator a bit. No, I played Emerald, not Ruby, sorry. Okay. So, for Ruby and Sapphire, we're going to put them in unplayed because we're going to rank the remakes. Um, as right. far as Emerald, that is its own identity, so we're gonna rank Emerald, and I would put Emerald in A. I, I agree, yeah, I actually did okay. very much enjoy Emerald. As far as placement goes, I would put it in between Paper Mario and Sunshine. Yeah. Um, Fire Red Leaf Green. Um, I played Leaf Green, and I have fond memories of Classic Crust. <laughs> um, playing this game with Flip and building a party and battling in it. So we're gonna put Fire Red as the remake. Well, I don't know. Should we just put that one in unplayed? I don't know. I played it, but if you feel like you know it enough. Uh, to rank it and you want to rank it then you can rank it I, put... I say how about how about for like games that have are very like similar enough like for black and white we just put black okay we'll white. just put one like, of them on, like, and i'm putting leaf green in because it's the version i had and i would put leaf green also in a <laughs> Um, I would put it below Emerald, personally. I would as well. I would as well. Um, because Emerald's fire, and I love Hoenn. I would actually put it below. Below Link to the Past. So in between Link I, to the Past and yeah. sixty four. Um. Now Diamond and Pearl are tough ones because the remakes are literally the exact same game. Uh. Do you want to rank the remakes? I honestly just want to rank Platinum. I don't think that... I, I feel like Platinum is so similar enough. Uh, we'll rank better. the remakes and Platinum. I don't know. Platinum is better than the remakes, but I feel like one of the remakes is better. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2? I haven't played Fuck, it. Who played this? Come on, guys. Uh, Platinum, Platinum. S-tier. I, yeah, I was about to um, say, I would 100% put it in S-tier. I have more fond memories of this. I would personally put it between Breath of the Wild and New Super Mario Bros. I would... I would put it above Breath of the Wild between that and Galaxy. Actually, yeah. Cause... I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about it now. Um, the memories and the amount I played Platinum. I, I yeah. can definitely see that being put ahead there um heart gold and soul silver baby the pokey walker champions 
I'm okay. gonna first of all S for both of them. I agree. Um, Easy peasy. They are almost identical in almost every way. Yeah. So you can rank um, Soul Silver, but I'm definitely putting Heart Gold on my list. Um, I'm just gonna put Soul Silver instead of. I'm gonna put it in yeah, the same yeah. spot for the same games. Um, I put it above Platinum in my opinion. Um, I would put it personally. Some, I would put it all the way. Platinum. I would put it all the way past Wind Waker. Not quite past uh, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, but I don't know. Isn't isn't Wind Waker your second favorite though? It is, but so it's versus it it's my weird. it's my second favorite Zelda game versus my first favorite Pokemon game. Well, no, I was saying it feels kind of weird to go past your second favorite and stop at your uh, third favorite. It does, but I, I mean, know... It is It is kind of meeting in the middle. I know Twilight Princess um, is your favorite, so I wouldn't put it past that on this list, though if it were a personal list, I would. Yeah. I kind of... It feels weird to put it... To interrupt the trifecta of Zelda game, because I rank those three so close together that I feel like this Pokemon game would either have to go above them, like, or below them as a group. Because all three of those games are kind of just so close together in terms of how much I like them. Um, well, I... If we have to make this decision, I would put it above them. I don't know. Heart Gold's I'll just fire. put them in between Wind Waker and Tw Twilight Princess. And you know, you know what though, the Zelda games—they didn't come with a Poke Walker, dude. That's like two games in one. Yeah, but Skyward Sword came with an anniversary edition music disc. That is true. I remember having that. Um, black and white. All right, let's let's just rank black since I think that's the one we played, or maybe you played white. We played we opposite played versions, but. I had I played black. I'm pretty sure we gave Dad White, um, black I as a game. Put, I would put it in. I I liked it more than Emerald personally. Black as a game is actually it's it's pretty legendary like, as like the last good Pokemon game, like exceptional Pokemon game. Yeah, and I'd be willing. And personally, it has my absolute favorite sprites. Like, it has my favorite series. sprites. It has my favorite story. Like I would put it in S personally. Yeah, I I I liked it more than Emerald, but I would put it. I would put it below Platinum my, my, in S. Yeah, I was about to say my nostalgia for Platinum puts Platinum above it, but just a little bit. Like Black Black, in my opinion, was like really good. Um, I I like Platinum. There was always that fire type issue, but Platinum sort of remedied that, which is whatever. Um, but yeah, I'd put that and on SP. I always started with the fire type, so I never really noticed. Black and white, too. Uh, they were different enough to rank them separately. Have you played them? I've played one of them. I'm just going to rank black, too, because the picture is cooler. I, I literally did the same thing. I wouldn't put it on the same tier as S, because, just because, um, I I would be willing to put it A. I would definitely rank it an A, because it has a lot of the similar aspects, and it is, like, genuinely... I'll put it next to Leaf Green. Much more, it's much more different than a lot of the... Because technically Black 2 and White 2 are kind of like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, in that they're technically the third game in the generation yeah i um, mean they're um they're sequels black yeah. and white too um x and y is where did you put it in the uh, i put mine right behind leaf green it could go right in front too it's kind of up to you I'd I'd personally put it in front. I feel like Sounds it is good. superior in terms of like. Um, no, I mean I agree. General. X and Y, what the generation they introduced Mega Evolution. I think. Correct me if I'm I've, wrong. 
I've played X briefly. Um, it's not my favorite gen. Um, at this point, I like Mega Evolution. I, Looking back, we've had worse since then. So, yeah, like I definitely Pokemon X was super jarring to me. Like X and Y because of the shift from the the better graphics to 3D. And I say better because I'm not the biggest fan of the style of the 3D graphics. It just looks really unrefined isn't necessarily the right word, but it just has that really smooth looking graphics that like well, so low effort things have a lot of the time. I think the reason it it seems like that is because it did go from our favorite sprites in in a black and white to a new style and they did switch it up which is always a pain in the ass but mechanics wise i think it still deserves to be up in a i would put it i would put it below black too though i agree gen 6 is good yeah my my one issue, my main issue with Gen 6 was the movement. It was in that weird middle stage between vertical and horizontal only. Um, it was between that and diagonal. And on the 3DS with how it's um, like multi-directional D-pad worked, it just felt weird having it only being vertical and horizontal. I... If if I used the regular D-pad, I probably wouldn't have that same opinion, but... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. I didn't play this. <laughs> I don't think I played it either. I also have not played the Omegas or ultras i've out of the next like six games i've only played sun slash moon i'm not gonna lie Actually, out of the rest of the pokemon games oh i've played a lot of these except for the obscure ones i'm not gonna lie emmer i only knew how to pronounce pronounce xerneas i could not pronounce the y pokemon for the life of me i'm not even going to attempt it here that's how little i can pronounce it I would assume it's something like Yvettel. I'm not even going to try. Evital? Bruh. New Super Mario Bros. U. Uh, you cool with placing that in uh, Never Played? Or have you played it? Yeah. I haven't. Now, okay. Uh, played it. Have you so... played Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Out of the rest of the Pokemon games, I've only played Sun. So I will say, in my mind, um, in my mind, Heart Gold and Soul Silver weren't even remakes for me because I didn't play the original. But these are the most goaded remakes, the best remakes that have ever come out of Pokemon ever. Of course, excluding. Um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which, as I said, to me wasn't even a remake because I didn't play the original. But I have seen a bit of this, and it looked wild. But I, I can't say I can't say I speak from experience. So I will mostly step out of this ranking. But I would definitely be cool with placing this higher end. I would, I would put these as. Oh, my camera just went out of focus. I would put these as definitely S tier. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm definitely a Groudon fan, so I'm ranking the Groudon version of the game. But I'm putting it in S. Because All right, well, it's the I, most I like the color blue better, but I like Groudon's design. It's so. it's the most high effort remake that has come out of a Pokemon game since Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I would put okay. it. Okay, I wanna, I wanna bring up. I, I have to disagree. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were, suffice to say, a brilliant and shining, 
uh, example of what what Nintendo can really truly pull out. Brilliant when diamond and shining pearl compared comparatively belong in a trash can. Where is my comparatively? Program? You're right. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire do belong in a trash can compared to the absolute glory that no. was Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the single best above any other Pokemon game ever made in terms of both remakes and original content. Just like I can't even begin to explain how there we go. impressive they were, honestly. But no, I as a Pokemon fan, wish they would put as much effort as they put into Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire into every Pokemon, even regular Pokemon games. Uh, I, I gushed about this long enough. We'll move on to the next one, Sun and Moon. Yeah, I do think out of... Sun and Moon, in my opinion, was actually pretty good. Um, I like... will take your word for it because I thought it was kind of shit. I didn't... I would not put it above black two but i personally i would put it above c tier um somewhere i'd be like i'd be willing to put it in b i i'm gonna be completely honest i don't remember any of its story i just remember the uh legendary looked cool and i liked that you had the legendary kind of in the beginning i thought that was a neat idea and My... I also am a fan of some of the regional variants, like uh, I All think, Egg. Yeah, I think the regional variants were among the very few cool things that I liked about it. The thing that hurt was no gyms. The challenges were fucking stupid. Oh, they didn't the have alpha gyms. Pokemon. The alpha Pokemon concept, dumb as fuck. I hated it. It was not alpha good. Alpha Pokemon? Wait... I'm forgetting a lot of things, I guess. Yeah, it, I mean, they didn't do gyms. It was like like a challenge thing where you had to be like a big version of a Pokemon. Um, that sounds dumb. It was It was lame. I beat the game. I, I don't know how I don't remember. Um, um, all gonna... I know is that currently my 3DS is broken and my game, my son is downloaded, or is my cartridge for son is on there. And I transferred my Infernape that I've carried with me since I played Platinum the first time all across my devices, and it's on that right now, stuck, trapped in eternal purgatory because my 3DS is broken and I don't know how to fix it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd be co willing to compromise and put it on B, but I'd have to put it at the bottom of B. I'd put it, I would, personally, I would, you, you're, you're, you're reminding me that I know almost nothing about this game, so I would be willing... I would probably put it at the bottom of somewhere in C or D or somewhere like I'd that. I'd be willing to I'm, put it I'm... ahead of yellow. In C. Alright, yeah. Okay. Um, now, I have Ultra strong... Sun and Ultra Moon. What were you going to say? Oh, I have not played either. That's how disappointed oh, I was with the originals. I haven't played either of those. Have you? Because we can rank them. I have not, but I have seen a little bit and heard from a lot of people that they were like actually super good compared to the original. So I would probably put them at the bottom of B tier. Or put Ultra Sun at the bottom of B tier, I guess. Just one of the two. Because of like how much I heard people saying it was an improvement over the original. Um... Okay. In terms of everything. I'll put the other one and not played. Now, I... I have some strong opinions about Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. And I regret to inform you, Nathan, that this would be my first F tier. Ooh. Interesting. I played through Eevee all the way. And I thoroughly believe... One... They got rid of catching Pokemon in the traditional way. They changed it to the Pokemon Go style. That was the major hurt. Two. Ew. Um, just a worse version of Hargold. Way worse. Like, dumpster fire worse. Um, like, it made me want to vomit. Good graphics. I like the graphics. Battle animation's pretty cool. 
I like the idea of the partner Pokemon being on my shoulder. That was cute. It could ride on my hat. Uh, but other than that, wouldn't play it. Wouldn't recommend it. Any opinions on it? I have not played it. I will trust your word on it. I don't know if Emmer has anything to say about Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. Um, I don't know why they mixed the Mario games in. It's a little weird. We got Sword and Shield. Have you played through Sword and Shield? I have not touched them. I have heard that they are way unbelievably too easy, and they just added a new, another new Pokemon gimmick that nobody cared about. Um, Both nails... Yeah, yeah, bo both hit the nail on the head, but they're not quite bad enough to put an F. I... They were super easy, but the merit I saw in that is it's very easy for me to build competitive parties, and the online battling scene is decent. I would probably put it at the top of E or bottom of D, uh, personally, from descriptions. I, I would... I would put it back of D. Because it's not... It's not, all things considered, that bad. I think it was kind of shitty, the paid DLC thing. Which doesn't belong in a Pokemon game, but... Um, oh, yeah, I heard. Yeah. Um, 3D like a, World. New, new kind of thing 3d world above 3d land where's for world? sure we have 3d land in c i would put world in Not... b or a yeah i would probably put it a... i would probably put it <sighs> above super mario bros 3 i have heard a lot of good things about 3d world and i will in... say Wait, Bowser's Fury, if we get to that, uh, or when we get to that, I suppose. Bowser's Fury. Oh my Fury god, there's so much stuff left. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna speed through some of these Pokemon ones because we don't know most of them. Pokemon okay. Go. Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I play Pokemon Go every, every day. day. I play Pokemon Go. I wouldn't put it now. In I have I've played this at one point. I would I would. I didn't play it that much at all. I don't know if you knew, but I didn't. I hardly touched it. I don't, so, I don't think I actually ever installed it. I think my experience was playing it on mom's phone. So, um, if you want my honest opinion on Pokemon Go, do I think it's as bad as Let's Go Eevee and worthy of an F tier? No. Do I think it totally destroyed the competitive scene and made Shinies easy as fuck to get once they allowed you to transfer it to Pokemon Home and put it in a regular game? Yeah. No, it annoys me that they did that, because you can get perfect Pokemon in Pokemon Go fairly easily and just transfer them to a real game and use them, which is fucked. And the shiny rate is so high in Pokemon Go. It's so high. Unbelievably high. It does not make them rare anymore. Pokemon Go, I caught like 12 shinies. I have 12 shinies lined up. Uh, oh, that's sorry. That, to, that makes me sad to hear. Sorry, sorry to gush about how much I don't like Pokemon Go. But it is it is an entertaining mobile app, and I would be willing to put it in D. I ironically, have no ironically, I would put it above Sword and Shield. But that's that's my personal opinion. I think it just I don't know, it hurts me that it made made it so easy, but that's just a trend with Pokemon now. Alright. Now I haven't played any of the rest of these Pokemon games, and I don't even know what the hell the second, the second Yeah, Rumble Bros are looking at big big Pikachu Pokemon Pinball Pikachu was game. good, but I can't rate that. Conquest, uh Where's Pokemon Snap the original? What about Super Mario Maker original? Magikarp Jump, you just skipped over that? God game right there. Original Super Mario Maker, um, I watched a bit of it on e on YouTube. Um, I don't definitely, know, I, I think 2 is just the better version of it. It is. I really did like... Are they worth ranking separately? I very much enjoy the concept of the game. Um, it, you, I feel like they are because two was just so much better than one. Okay, so where are we putting original? 
I'd put the original um B uh B is fair. In between Donkey Kong and Super Mario Advance, I suppose. Actually, no, I just put it above I put it in between Link's Awakening and the original I could I definitely think it's better than those four original games. Like okay. I would one hundred percent prefer to play um, Mario Maker over Donkey Kong. I don't know what the fuck this next one's supposed to be. Um so I'm gonna put that in haven't played. Pokemon Snap, goaded. I love Pokemon Snap. I played it at the barber shop. You know that that cool cuss for kids barber shop where you could play video games while you get your haircut. I played either SpongeBob. this or Super Mario sixty four or SpongeBob. Was it Battle for Bikini Bottom? It was it one wasn't. of them. It was it was SpongeBob the movie the game. I think. <laughs> the movie the game. But I like Pokemon Snap. I haven't played the remake, so I'm gonna rate the original. Uh, Pokemon Snap. Uh concept of it was i mean it's i mean it's a simple ass game i'd put it in c or d let's go c um okay. i'd put it above sun just to screw with sun uh pokemon dash haven't heard of now i like the pokemon dungeon games i have red rescue team that I got from the convention have not played it yet. So it is yet to be rated, but I know I will like it. Um, have you played any of the dungeon games? Nope. Um, as I a remember whole, there was one that I played, but I don't remember what it was. As a whole, I'd rate the series as... I would rate it up in A. Um, I just picked one random one because I don't remember which one I played. I think I played maybe X ex, Explert Excerpts uh, hey, Whatever of Dark. Uh, you wanna tell me what the fuck the winking Mario was supposed to be? Mario Run. I haven't played it, but it's a mo Oh, um, I remember that. Um Would you rank uh Mystery Dungeon bottom of A? Bottom of A. Alright, Mario Run, I have actually heard things about, like it's fun and stuff like that. I mean, I it's a mobile game. It. I would put it somewhere above Pokemon Go. I'd put it just I... above Pokemon Go. Well, uh, <laughs> honestly, though, I'd I'd put it above Adventures of Link. So Zelda Two. I'd rather play Pokemon Go than Mario Run. But I'll compromise. Mario Run is like an actual like Mario platformer kind of game. Well, sort of. Sense. It's one of those side-scrolling race games. I, I don't know anything about it. I haven't played it. I thought it was just you oh. run and you have to jump. No, no, it's and like a it's a four player versus game where the screen keeps rolling and you have to make it to the end first. Uh um Oh, I thought that was Mario ninety nine. No no no, that's something else. So I think this is Pokemon Super Mystery. I think this is more mystery dungeon game. More mystery I, I don't recognize is. any of these any um, of these games. Pokemon Ranger gone. Pokemon Ranger I liked, but I didn't like it as much as Mystery Dungeon. I'd rank it bottom of B. Alright. Um, I don't remember which one I played, but it was one of them, so I just picked one. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, I heard was good, but I never played it. Uh... Odyssey. What do you think about Odyssey? I... Like, literally two days ago, just beat the game almost 100%. I don't know if I'm going to be able to percent I'm not super motivated to do it. I personally think it is S-tier because the movement in the game is incredible. Like, by far, best movement in any Mario game ever released. Um... Like, and that's not even controversial to say. Like, everybody agrees that it is the best movement in any Mario game ever. Released. My only experience with Odyssey is watching speedruns, so... I mean, um, if you want to put it in S, we'll throw it in S. I would put it b somewhere below Breath of the Wild, but I'd put it above Super Mario War... Or New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I'm gonna rearrange a bit, then. Yeah. That looks good to me. Yeah, okay. 
Um, Pokemon Channel. Um, you know, if I say that. something goes above something, that doesn't mean to rearrange everything below that something. Yeah, I mean, it's just I I wouldn't be able to put it. I mean, this this is two, which we ranked as one, but I wouldn't be able to put it above that. It was Super Mario Odyssey was genuinely a very game that I would put above the new Super Mario Bros. in my opinion. In terms of like actual fun of gameplay, like just the movement alone made me like Yeah. Really want to keep playing it. I, I think I think the actual And the music is exceptional in some spots of the game. Once we get into the tiers themselves it's, it's gonna differ a little bit. Which is fine. I mean, they're separate tier lists. I do agree that it belongs in S. It looks like you have an extra game in S tier. Oh no, you don't. Do I'm just zoomed in more than you. Gotcha. Um, do you have any opinions on Art Academy? I don't have any opinions on any of the remaining. Um, Pokemon Tournament is big in Japan, but I can't rank it. Uh, the trading card game with physical cards is goaded. I can't vouch for the Game Boy Color version of it, so I'm going to put that not played. Haven't played Detective Pikachu. Yoshi's Island. For the Super Nintendo. Oh my god, there's so many. Hey, we're almost to the Kirby stuff. Okay. Have you played Yoshi's Island original? No. Have you played Yo y Yoshi? <laughs> no. Yoshi's Cookie. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Best game! Yoshi's Safari. No. Mario Maker 2. Mario is... Maker 2, time to actually rank this. A or S, I I, I would def I would probably put it above Super Mario Bros. Wii because it is that's fair. It is a very it is a game that everybody has for a very long time wanted Nintendo to release, and Nintendo never did it until they did with one, and then they just released two, introduced Slopes and Luigi, and just made it better. The fact um, that Slopes weren't in the game originally baffles me. Um. <laughs> Yoshi's Story. Um, all of the Yoshi's games I pretty much haven't played. I played a lot of the... I played some of them, but I don't remember them enough to rank them. There was a weird phase in Nintendo. Where, why are there two Yo... Well, it's because it's 3DS and... There were a weird phase in Nintendo where they did a lot of Yarn games. Uh, we're not going to rank Tentris. Uh, original Wario Land. Have you played that? No. Super Mario Bros. 35, 35th anniversary, I think. I think it's just a re-release of the original. Have you played it? No, Super... I, I, I just looked it up. I, I was right. Super Mario Bros. 35... I, I was right. Say it. Super Mario Bros. 35 was the Battle Royale. Oh, was it? Okay. I haven't played yeah. it. Neither have I. I have not played any of the Wario games. I heard good things about them, but I also have not. Like, all mm. the way up, like, any of them, even the newest one. So, I'm just going to put them all in the category. All-Stars. Okay. Uh, This is I'm, kind of a tough I'm, one to rank. Yeah, because... I'm straight up just going to put it in the bottom. Um... It's, I mean, because... we've ranked all of these games individually, so it's not really yeah, fair to throw. I mean, it's have... cool that they... Well, see, my, my thing is, it's a package of three games, two A's and one S, released for the Switch, which is something that a lot of people wanted. My only reason it wouldn't be higher on S is because it like, Where did you put it, in S, or did you put it... I just put it, I just put it in the bottom of S, since it is, like, okay. a really good package to have it includes three really good games it's weird that they were selling it only for a limited time which was a little goofy but whatever super princess yeah, i mean peach. i got it so kind of lame ass person played super princess peach 
Okay, we're, um, we're to Koibi. Hey, dude. What? You just skipped over Super Princess Peach? Yes. The fuck? Do you really want to rank Super <laughs> Princess Peach? Dude. Literally goaded, as you would say. And if you want to rank Super Princess Peach, go ahead. Out yourself as a Super Princess Peach fan. I don't see anything wrong with the wonderful game that is Super Princess. Where are we? Peach. Where are we putting it? I actually then? have seen a little bit. I have actually have probably like the upper half of haven't played. I've seen a few images. It actually looks pretty cool, but I'm I haven't actually played. Um, Kirby's Dreamland, not the best of the Kirby games. It is. It is OG. Yeah, pretty good though. Uh, um, uh I I'd put, put it, it at least above Pokemon Go. I'd put it. I'd put it C. Uh, C above. I'd put it above Pokemon Yellow. I know. Yeah, I agree. I'd put it above 3D Land. No, I'd put it in between Snap and 3D Land. Um, Kirby's Adventure. Also between Snap and 3D Land. Yeah. All right. Just make Kirby's sure. Adventure also pretty good. Um. I'll put it uh in front of Kirby's Dreamland. Um, Super Mario U Deluxe. Have you played that? I have not. Have, have you played you? Pinball Land? Kirby's Pinball nope. Land. Um, we played Kirby's Dream Course, but I think it was a, I think it was in a combo package in like, the Dream Collection. Or something. It was it was in Kirby's Return to Dreamland. <coughs> okay, we'll in, rank like, it that with that. Where you could watch Kirby right back at you and stuff. Oh, that was fire. Uh, I don't know if Kirby's Avalanche. I haven't done Avalanche. Dreamland Two, I would put above the original uh, at the very least. It was it was pretty. I would as well. I'd put a. Mm -hmm. I'd put it up with the OG games. I would have put it... Oh, yeah, uh, but with the... Uh, and B. Where in it. Um, yeah. I'd put it... I'd put it in between Mario and Pokemon, yeah. personally. Oh, in between... Yeah, that's fair. I would um, rather play Pokemon Red than... Cur Kirby's Dream Land 2. Black it's Ball. Very close, Superstar. Kirby Superstar. Goaded. Uh, so... I think we... Didn't we only play Superstar Ultra? Or am I confusing? Games? No. I think I think you're right. Because Ultra is just a remix of this. We'll put this yeah, in Heaven we didn't, we, no, we, Of course we didn't play Superstar. The it's on the SNES. Superstar. It was Super yeah. Nintendo. Uh, um, sticker, star stacker. Did sticker, you play star Dreamland stacker, 3? Um, yes, but it's not as memorable as two, honestly. Would you rate it? I will put it in. I haven't played. Um, Kirby sixty four. Ooh, we played. Okay, so that's this is another one of those games that was in that combo dream collection. So are we I wanting to rank remember, these individually? I remember playing it. I don't. I don't want to rank. I want to rank this one specifically. Okay. Individually, because I remember it, and it is also getting a Nintendo Switch port at some point soon. I'd put it in A. Uh, yeah, I, I very much enjoyed this game. Um, like it's the combination power ups I thought were really. Like, where in A? Uh, probably. Past sixty four. Black two. Yeah, above black two sounds good to me. We might need to do the stream in two parts. <laughs> I don't know uh, why it's not even that. Let, late. Let's get through Kirby and we'll call this part one. Well, uh, what what comes immediately after Kirby? I want to see where it's, specifically Smash Bros is, but it doesn't look like it. It's Metroid, and then, you know, there's Animal Crossing, Earthbound, Pikmin. Oh, yeah. No, no, there's I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down. It looks like we can do this in maybe one half hour. 
Come on. We're gonna get through Kirby and call this part one. I don't see Smash on here at all. Where is it? I want to know if it's relatively close to now. Because if it's oh no, there it is. I see Brawl and uh, Melee. Yeah, we're not we're not that close. We'll, we'll we'll do Kirby and then call it. Yeah. Um. Or Mario we... Bros. Special have not played. Never even Bros. heard of it. Not uh, played. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Nightmare in Dreamland. Um. This was also a combo game. But individually, I would rank this S tier. Any opinions? Hello? He went, he really didn't like that ranking. Hello. Is anybody there? Hello. Um, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it seems he just disconnected, so we might call this part one. He is gone. Uh, if you're here, Emmer, uh, we got to the Kirby games. I don't know how into the Kirby games you ever you ever were. Yeah, it looks like his internet crashed. Considering I just dropped another viewer. Hmm. Well, I guess we will call that part one. I uh, you know, appreciate you all for watching. The three of you that stuck around, especially you, Emmer, I appreciate the participation. And... I suppose I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.